Hi, Howie Jacobson here. Today we're going to look at the Dimensions tab and specifically the demographic data that you can get from it. This data used to be awesome. Um, it was kind of messed up by Google a little while ago and it's still in that state. So I'm going to show you what you can get from the, um, the AdWords interface online. You can always do a lot more if you can pull this into Excel and apply uh, fancy stuff like pivot tables, but I'll show you what you can just do at a glance right here. So we begin by navigating so to the uh, Dimensions tab, and here I'm looking at all online campaigns. You can do this for a specific campaign. I want to aggregate the data for you here. So the view uh, originally is time. We're going to change that from time to demographic. Now it's going to show you all the domains and we get to see what the demographics by looking at these columns, by going to columns and customize columns. And here we have gender added. And you know, obviously we want to do gender and age, but if you do them together, the problem is that every single gender and every single age um, category is going to get its own line. So if you, if you advertise on YouTube, for example, you're going to get five different age categories, you know, 0 to 17, 18 to 24, etc. And each of those is going to be split in two by, or split in three actually, by gender, male, female, and unspecified if they couldn't get the data. So that's way too much. So we're only going to do one at a time. So we're going to look at gender here. And then we're going to save this set of columns. And now you're going to see the domain. And I've removed most of the, um, the data so we can just look at click-through rate, impressions, clicks, and click-through rate by gender. So you can see that um, for, for Blogspot here, we have 0 out of 10 unspecified, 2 out of 4 male, 1 out of 5 female. That's clearly not enough data to even be interesting. So we have to apply a filter. So the filter we're going to create here is going to be impressions is going to be greater than 100. We're really not interested in, in less than that. I also want to make sure we don't get any zeros. So we're going to then do clicks is at least one, um, at least one, greater than or equal to one. So we're going to apply that, and now our many rows are going to go down, and now you can see more interesting statistics. So here, this uh, domain here, the one and two rows, uh, you can see 0.07 male and compared to 0.04 CTR female. This next one here, um, n basically zero male, 0 0.02 uh, unspecified, and you can see this is not really useful. It's not great. And the numbers are so low, the click-through numbers are so low here that we're not getting any useful distinctions. You can, so we're going to um, go back to columns and I'll show you how to do age. So we're going to remove gender and add age and go down here to save. And now you'll see what it looks like by age. So here's MySpace and you can see that by 0 to 17, 18 to 24, and you can see here the um, the older people get on MySpace, 45 to 54 or 55 to 64, the higher the click-through rate. So again, if you if you take all this data, what you're really interested in is not just on MySpace, but all of the placements combined. What does that say? Who is your market? Is it more men or women? Is it more older or younger? Is it younger men, older women, etc.? That's the really valuable data that you can't get unless you download this into Excel and do some fancy footwork with that. So that's what we're dealing with right now for the demographic view of the Dimensions tab. Uh, stay tuned. If you're uh, signed in here, we'll, we'll shoot you an email if anything changes and we update this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.